<laughs> We're there. I love it. <laughs> Season two. Season two. <laughs> Welcome back to Cooking with the Cricks. I'm Chef Serge Kokorian, and today I have a special guest, somebody I've known for over 10 years, 10 years. in the events industry. She's an event planner. This is Michelle Stewart. Hey, everybody. I'm happy to be here. Uh, I, uh, well, you know what? Michelle and I go back, like I said, with 10 years. We We've done a lot, a lot of great events. Wonderful. Well, tell us recently what have you been doing? So I've been doing a lot of conferences, corporate, nonprofit, galas, a lot of galas, which is exciting coming back. Finally. But you moved away from here. I did. I moved away from Arkansas. Yeah, that's I'm in right. New Hampshire. Yeah. So, um, and I love it up there. But, uh, but events is still real strong down here. And I come down every two to three months for events. Well, fantastic. I know. Exactly. Well, I tell you what. When we come back, we're going to talk about how to make a, a really amazing the Cuban secret. pot roast. The secret to pot, pot roast. <laughs> Michelle, we talked about, uh, first of all, the cut of meat. One yes. of the most important things about a pot roast is what kind of cut of meat you, you, you want. Yes. Really, there's two different cuts of meat that I really use all the time. Okay. One of them is chuck roast. Okay. Chuck roast is a little bit fattier, right. and it really, really gives it a lot of good, great flavors. But I tend to go a little bit leaner on mine I use inside round. That's inside because of inside okay. round. Now, like I said, if somebody wants a, a which is a lot leaner meat, okay. but it's also really nicely marbled inside. Sure. And so it gives it a lot of good flavors as well. Okay. okay. Sweet. It's a simple process right here. We're going to go ahead and add salt. Awesome. Okay. Salt. We're going to, and I'll tell you what, why don't you turn them around for me while I'm, while I'm salt and peppering. And while we're doing that, let's go ahead and add a little bit of our oil in here. Right. There we go. You know what, you do that and okay. just liberally, okay? Because what's going to happen is it's going to lose most of its salt. And once you braise it, it it's going to be in the bottom of sure. the pan. So here we go. We're going to put the pepper in there. Lovely. And the next thing is you want uh, your your oil to be piping hot. I put a little bit of grapeseed oil, okay. grapeseed which is okay. which is Does neutral. It matter? You know what? It is. Okay. You don't use olive oil. Okay. Olive oil has a really, really low uh, 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 heat point because okay. yeah. what it does, it really burns real easily and, really, and gives it an aftertaste. This is a lot hotter. hotter. You use you can use canola neutral oils. Okay. You see it smoking? Yes, you want so, that, right? So, <laughs> yeah, that's what you want. Except for you have a very sensitive <laughs> fire alarm. That's yeah. probably not the best. Well, thing. you know what? <laughs> not, luckily <laughs> us, we don't have one in here. <laughs> is that a good thing, sir? <laughs> yes, that's a, that's a good thing here. Yes. <laughs> okay. Now, in the kitchen, it's another story. Yeah, we'll talk different. Yeah. That's a different That's story. a different story. <laughs> uh, the other thing is, you, uh, you know, use a bottom heavy pan. Okay. What it does is, is basically keeps the keeps it more even heat okay. and, uh, oh, yeah, and, and and cooks it a lot more even and a lot quicker. Yeah. And, uh, How many minutes on each side? You know, generally what you're looking for is that good color. Usually okay. about two to three minutes, okay. sometimes even more. This is not as fatty, so it takes a little while longer to get it to that good bar. And, and you know, so people tell you, yeah, and you, it will, you'll see it real quickly. I mean, look at oh, it. It's yeah, already, yeah. all the sugars are already really yeah. caramelizing. And no. that's the intent, <laughs> intent to be give it layers of flavor when you're when you're braising roasting something it's not like you're keeping the moisture in for any amount of time because in reality at the end when you touch it you're supposed to just explode anyway so, okay. yeah. that makes sense. so we're going to do all three sides and while we're doing this we got we got two sides already ready to go you can That's see that look at yeah, that look at that look at this it's Ooh. already got really excellent color Fancy. Smelling really, really good. Smells really good. And that's what you're going for. Awesome. All right, when we come back, we'll start uh, on the potatoes and... Uh, veggies, my veggies. favorite. That's right. <laughs> Once you put the vegetables in, guess what? It'll go ahead and get all those little... Flavors. Yeah, it'll mm. just get them from the bottom. And uh, just a couple of minutes, that's all we're doing. Okay. Cool. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and add my potatoes. That is not very conventional, but hey, I why not? It. You might as well just uh, put everything in there. Hey, and yeah, That's right. So uh, how long, just enough for it to get the juice? Again, the uh, it's just going to take about two to three, three minutes. minutes. Yeah, two to three Still minutes. High and heat. Yeah, high heat, absolutely. Right. Get, you know, you've already seen this. It's already getting caramelizing oh, yeah. the ends. You're right. trying to get that really smoky flavor in there, but that's all you need. Just a couple of minutes of it. And yeah, 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 there we go. 
Lovely. That's just beautiful colors. That's good. Man. <laughs> man. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> good, good fixings, right? That's what it says. That's a great fixing. <laughs> uh, gonna get that dirty pan out of the way. Yeah. Now, put my, get the pretty stuff out. There we go. <laughs> all right, here we go. Looks like we're about there. Yum, yum. Uh, and now we're gonna go ahead and add some some of the okay. uh, all the spices in there and everything. So you're adding some veggies. I'm huh? gonna And then put okay. You know what? We're going to add lid today. <laughs> I like it. I yeah. like it. All right, I'm trying so what's to, that? Is that that is that's a little bit of beef stock. Beef stock. All right. I'm trying to do is deglazing the pan so that anything on the oh, bottom got that's stuck got it. is actually gonna go ahead and uh, make go ahead and make it in, in, into the, these vegetables. Lovely. So we got this here. Okay. And now that we got it deglazed, Beautiful let's get meat. all the rest of this meat in there. Beautiful meat. And you know what? All this little good stuff that's in the bottom of it, put it in and go ahead and add it to the to the sauce. Lovely. And we, we already had a little bit. And that's orange juice. Orange juice. Anything, anytime okay. you're talking about Cuban food, you got to have a little bit, you know, the mojo, you got to have a little Lovely. bit of orange juice. Right. And I've got a basically, uh, so it's one orange that okay. we so fresh squeezed. Oh, one orange. One okay. dip. And then add a little bit of the zest, zest. zest from in there. Lovely. And, you know, we'll get those in there. And then a little bit of lime. And wow. you know, one of the things we talk about lime, you better like acidity if you like this roast. Mm. But if you don't, there's little tricks we can do to try to fix it. Okay. All right, cumin. Definitely. Quite a bit of cumin. Flavor. Yes, it is. Great flavors. Some bay leaf. Right. Let's not forget our the garlic. The garlic. <laughs> you always need garlic. Anytime you're in my kitchen, you got to have garlic. Uh. And then oregano. We got that oregano in there. And cilantro. Do you like cilantro? I love cilantro. So you like cilantro. So we're going to go ahead and put lots of cilantro. You know, uh, some people that don't, just put a little bit less. That's okay. all. Yeah. Perfect. But otherwise, you know, what about heat? I love heat. We're going to put all this heat, red pepper, in there. Heat in the kitchen. Yeah, that's right. You, you got to always have a lot of heat in the kitchen. Kitchen. Exactly. You can only cook with heat. Uh, only, literally. You know, literally. every once in a while, my team <laughs> says we must be cooking with magic because you know, you know, well, yeah, hey, yeah, we got to do. do what we got to do. That's world. right. We make magic. Don't we, we make magic happen. <laughs> that's right. All right, that's and you can see stock, we right? got a little right. bit of beef stock, and you got to make sure all this meat is in there. And now we're covered, right? We're going to cover, cover it. it. We're going to cover it. We're going to cover it, and we'll put it in the oven for at 325 degrees, okay. about three, uh, two. Three hours, three and a half hours. Okay. That's how long it generally and takes. And how do you know when it's done? When it's done, you know, all you got to do is stick a fork in it, as oh, everybody stick says, a fork in it. and it's going to be done. Okay. Literally. <laughs> and when, literally. Just and use and it. it should, you know, a good pot roast, uh, okay. a good pot roast, when you when you put the, the fork in there, it should disintegrate. Okay. And that's what the braising process does, okay. and that's what it's supposed to be. If so it's slow not, cook. slow yeah. cook. But right. you do somewhere around two and a half hours, go okay. ahead and take it out, and we're going to check and see if it's got a, if, if it's got a, uh, if it's the, the water evaporated add a little bit of water well, just, and water. just, just water because oh, okay. you know what all that flavor is already packed in there when yeah, yeah. It, it evaporates it's still going to be in there okay. add a little bit of water and then put it back in there for that uh, that extra hour whatever it's going to take and guess what mm. and we're going to we're going to in about a couple of minutes we're going to come back we're going to look at that end product yum i love it taste it <laughs> all right we brought this from the oven oh, nice, and piping hot. nice and piping hot so we're going to go ahead and open it up and see what it looks oh yeah oh, look at that sneeze Smell that goodness. Oh, it smells, you can smell that oregano. Right now. Mm. You know what? I smell the orange juice, I smell the lime, I smell everything in here. So it is really, yeah, it's really good. But before we do that, like we said, let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and test one and make sure it is done. Yeah, see what we got. We got it right here. Right. Oh, it's already falling, falling apart. apart. Oh, oh my goodness, look at, look at that. that. Look at that. Yeah, oh yeah, this is right. Yeah, so we're going to try to finish it now. Cool. First things first. Gotta fish all this stuff out. I don't know what else you call it. I think that's the, tec <laughs> the technical term yes. is fishing the meat out. That's kind of boring. We should come up with something different. Well, you know what? <laughs> You are the planner. Let's go for it. Yeah. <laughs> find me something more interesting mm, to say. Yeah, I'll have to right. ponder that for a bit. That Ooh, looks yeah. amazing though. Yeah. Well, the event planner do? me says this is a good dish. This is a good dish. This, this, is, a, this, this is, is pretty. Great dish. This is a great dish. Oh, yeah. Smells good. Go. I know it's going to taste good. Now, I'll turn this back on. Yep, it is on. Alright. Let's go ahead. We're going to taste it one time. Okay. What we're trying to do is see if you because it's acidic, you know, you've got the orange juice. Do, we, do, we, do a lime juice, is it, is it really good? But if it's a little bit acidic, I know it's secret how to get rid of the acidity. Okay. I know it's, it's very good. Ooh, Maybe it does a good stick in the back. Yeah, it does. You're right. You got a little stick in the back of the throat right there. And this, this is how we're going to fix it. All right. Butter. Really? Butter fixes 
is everything. Oh, that's my new favorite motto. <laughs> that's, yeah, it is. <laughs> As a Nettler, can I really say that? No, oh, yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah, you can, you can tell Butter fixes everything. Butter fixes everything. You got bad hair? Butter, Butter fixes, fixes everything. No, chef, that doesn't work. <laughs> it doesn't work. <laughs> hey, it'll work in the kitchen. That's, uh, that's it does the, work the most the important part. So. All right. Okay. I'm going to take it one. Ooh, look at that. more stirs. And uh, Leah is magically going to bring us a little bit, a couple of spoons so that we taste again. <laughs> Ooh, here we go. Uh, otherwise, it. we're not going to be able to do anything with it. But Probably I not. Here we go. Oh, that looks good, though. Mm. Yeah, all you got to do is just make sure it, it, it actually uh, incorporates. So okay. That's what we're stirring it. And uh, here's another tip. Uh, I like my the sauce not to be too thick, but if you like a really thick gravy, yeah. What you got to do is add a little bit of cornstarch to it. Cornstarch, just, just, just a little bit. Just a little, we're talking about a tablespoon really? of uh, a cornstarch. Put it in cold water, a tablespoon, and then mix it up. Put it in oh, there. Oh, cold water. Okay. Yeah, it'll be. It's so kind of like a pickup paste, but like oh, a thicker, yeah. like yeah. enough to in, get it in, in there and, and kind of thicken it up. Just thicken it up. And keep stirring. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, you do. You yeah, don't want to want. Okay. I've done All that right. before. <laughs> Here we go. One more taste. One more taste. All right. Oh my god. Or we pour it on the. Oh, that's perfect. That's it. Oh my goodness. We're gonna, oh we're gonna my pour it on top. <laughs> my favorite gravy. Right and when we come Look back, we're gonna go ahead and plate this on a nice little plate. And our, my yeah. favorite part, the tasty. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> All right. It's time for us to plate. I got a little bit of roasted. I hope you like broccoli. I do. Okay, it's roasted broccoli. Tell my mom. I like broccoli. Yeah, that's now, right. Now. Nice. Now. <laughs> Nowadays. There you go. Oh, you can see, look at that pot roast. Oh, it's already, nice. yeah, we're going to get it. Falling apart. Falling apart. And you know what? You, I heard you say it was. I do like, like a, I do like thick sugar, gravy. Like sugar gravy. And you like it thick. I do. So we thickened it for you a little ooh, bit. There we go. Ooh, look at that guy. Now, and here's a little bit of extra for the road. Like there you go. Good stuff. All Ooh. right, it's time for us to taste. I got my fork. Cheers. You got yours. Cheers. All right. Let's, Let's see what we've done. Oh my god. Wow. It's still. It's got that buttery. It's got like that even. It's, you know explosion what? Explosion of flavor. For a non-fatty piece of meat, this is amazing. That's amazing. It really is. Awesome, chef. No, you did an amazing job. Too. I did. I talked you through it. That's right. Thank you very much. <laughs> hey, you're thank you very much for coming. No, thanks for uh, really, having me. We, we appreciate you coming. And, I loved and it. We'll look forward to doing another one soon. Always. All right. Thank, Thank you, you so, so much, much for, for watching. watching. If you enjoyed this recipe, be sure to like this video and subscribe so that you see more wonderful recipes from around the world. Yes, and make sure you hit that bell so you'll be notified when we post new videos. And please feel free to share this with your friends and family on social media. I'll see you next time.